Hi everybody, it's great to have you back. Today, I would like to start a series where we share something we are excited about, and for me, that would be mushrooms. I'd like to take you on a magical journey about the wonderful mushroom, and hopefully you will learn some cool things and expand your mind to consider things you hadn't considered before. A person that studies and deals with mushrooms is called a mycologist. Scientists estimate that there are over 5 million species of fungi on Earth, but we have only discovered about 1% of them. Believe it or not, fungi are responsible for all life on land. They helped plants to colonise Earth and are not plants themselves, nor are they animal. Over the last billion years, they have become masters of survival. They were some of the first complex life forms on land, mining rocks for nourishment, slowly turning them into soil. They helped plants move away from the water's edge and become forests and ecosystems. They provide essential minerals for land plants and allow them to spread, turning the planet green and changing our atmosphere. Fungi are the garbage disposals of the natural world. They aid in decomposition by breaking down dead matter, releasing nutrients that are available for plants to keep growing. It is how things are reborn. The entire web of life is connected and it is connected through fungi. Basically fungi eat death and by doing so create new life. Fungi form mycelium which connects trees and plants in an underground highway called the Wood Wide Web, transporting nutrients and sending danger signals. In modern times, 100 years ago, Alexander Fleming discovered penicillin from a huge fungus called Penicillium, which has been used since to combat epidemics, increased our survival and changed lives. Hundreds of years of research has led to mushrooms being a massive part of our lives, in the medicines we use, in our kitchens and in keeping our forests alive. Some truly weird, wonderful and beautiful fungi exists in this world. For example, the parrot waxcap mushroom. Don't they look like glass? The veiled lady mushroom. An amethyst deceiver. The Berkshire Blue Amanita, as photographed here by the late Professor McGinty, believed by many to be a fraudulent picture, but that doesn't stop people walking the same woods in the hopes of finding this beautiful mushroom. Mushrooms can also be deadly, like the destroying angel here, and the more familiar toadstool, Amanita muscaria. Here we have the Mycena interrupter, or the blue pixie's parasol, the polyporous squamosus, or the bagpipe mushroom, the cyathus striatus, bird's nest mushroom. If you would like to dig deeper into this fascinating subject, there are TikTokers who forage, teach people about edible and not edible mushrooms, and increase knowledge. Remember, never forage for your own mushrooms until you are an adult and have got a lot of research under your belt. People don't become doctors overnight and you will need to be armed before heading into that forest. How many different types of mushrooms have you seen? We owe our very existence to mushrooms and they are the way of the future. I love mushrooms. What are you excited about? I'd love to hear your thoughts.